Oh, it's Cecilia. It's Papa. Grandma bought this book, and I'm going to read it to you. It's called The Night Before Christmas. It's by Clement C. Moore. I know you've heard this before. I've read it to you a couple times in the past. But now you can read along with me, and we hope you really enjoy it as much as we enjoy giving it to you. Love you guys. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama on her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. his course as they came, and he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Val Dasher, Val Dancer, Val Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the loud hurricane fly, when they meet with obstacle bound to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke that encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. eye and a twist of his head soon led me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, guys. We love you. Grandma and Papa.